welcome back hey welcome back welcome back to my channel okay um <laughs> today i'm gonna be showing y'all how to do y'all eyebrows they're not done they're not done yet this is the before but i just want to show y'all uh what my eyebrows look like before um actually i have one uh brow pomade so that if they kind of sort of look done they're not that's why but yeah so i'm gonna be showing y'all how to fix y'all eyebrows up when y'all can't make it to the salon or whatever when y'all can't make it to the nail shop when y'all can't make it to the mall or whatever i'm gonna show y'all how to fix it up actually you could do it way better than the um nail salon and for way cheaper but I'm just showing you, I'm gonna hook y'all up real quick. Okay, this is the before, this is what my eyebrows look like. Okay, so the main thing you're gonna need in order to do this is the Nair face cream. I know this one is like very sensitive, which is why you can use it on your face. It says face cream. But yes, yeah, so um, I'm gonna put like a detailed picture up. And I'm also link it down in the description. So, yeah. But what you want to start with is some alcohol and some cotton. Um, you can honestly, you can just wash your face if you want to. It's just to get the makeup off. So. okay if you do have makeup on because this is just to like show the shape right, so yeah. after you take off all your makeup what you want to do is grab an angle brush mine is double-sided and I'm gonna use this side to apply the um the narrow but yeah that's later so what you want to do is take some um brow pomade or an eyebrow pencil and just draw the shape of your eye not your eye, your eyebrow. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to do this while looking in the mirror and in the camera. See, what you want to do is just trace the shape. Um, to be honest, when I do this myself, I don't usually trace the shape because I know how I like my eyebrows. So I just do it. But if you're beginning, this you should really do this because if you mess up, you ain't going to have no eyebrows. <laughs> so I don't want y'all to be out here looking like thumbs. So I'm try <laughs> trying to show y'all. So yeah, I'm gonna just do the other side. I'm gonna draw the outside, the outside shape of it. All right, so here comes the fun part. So this says that you shouldn't leave it on for no more than 10 minutes. So what you wanna do is just take some, squirt it on a um, on a brush. You can use this kind of brush or like any makeup brush that you have really that's like small, like this size. Okay, so what you wanna do is where you drew your outline, I don't know if y'all can see, but basically where you drew your outline, just like go around it. <laughs> um, I don't know if your eyebrows are like really bad not bad but like if they're really overgrown then you will be able to see the hairs that you want to get rid of so yeah just basically follow that so try not to go inside the um the line that you made and try not to get it in your eye i don't know if this stuff is non-toxic but just try not to get it in your eye <laughs>
so yeah you just want to follow the like under the shape that you drew just go on the outside Also, if you do get it inside the line, you can just take a paper towel or like a washcloth and just wipe it off real fast and it shouldn't, it shouldn't mess up anything. It should be fine. And it's like, what's your progress? Y'all, I'm not no expert. And when I first did this, I did a skin test. So basically, the Nair, it tells you to do a skin test um, 24 hours before you use it. So I just put a little patch. I think I put it right here or right here. I don't remember. But you put some on and then like wipe it off and then see if you have like any type of allergic reaction to it. And that basically determines if you can use it on your face or not. Because I know some people, they might be allergic to it. Like, I have sensitive skin, but I'm not really allergic to anything. Alright, so after you finish both eyebrows, <laughs> this look a little lopsided, but it's not. Okay. After you finish both eyebrows, you can just um, set a timer for set your timer for five minutes, and after that, you can wipe it off. All right, so the five minutes is up now, and I'm gonna just take a um, a washcloth, and you want to like have loop, not lukewarm water, but not you don't want it steaming hot, but you want warm water. So basically, you're just gonna wipe it off. Make sure to get it all off so you don't get no like chemical burns or nothing. Honestly, at this point, you could even wash your face if you want it. But I'm about to leave out in a little bit, so I don't feel like going on it right now. So I wish I could have shown y'all, but when I just rinsed out the uh, washcloth, um, my little hairs, my little eyebrows hairs, they were like in the sink. But yeah, you just want to make sure that you like rinse it off really good. You don't want like no excess. All right. Okay, so after you rinse your um after you wash off the uh, the nair, what you want to do is take some tweezers. These tweezers are by Kiss. I got it in a, I think when I bought my eyelash glue, it came with a, some tweezers. So yeah. So I'm gonna just show you the next step. What you want to do is just pluck the excess hairs that didn't, I don't know if you can see, but like it's a hair right here. It's, it's shorter than it was before, but it didn't come all the way out. So if you have some leftover hairs, you can just pluck them out. And it's not gonna hurt because it's the hair is already weak from the nair, but it just didn't come out when you was wiping your face. So let me just show you. You just wanna oh, a bit. Okay, this is hard. Hold up, I can do here. Okay. Let's see if I could do it from right here. Okay, so you just wanna. hard to do it usually I have a mirror like right in front of my face but I'm just I'm trying to show y'all so I want y'all to be able to see it. 
Okay, I'm gonna do the first one off camera because I can't. Okay, see. so I basically did the first one off camera. You just want to um define it a little bit. So any little hairs that you see left over, you can just pull them out, and it's not gonna hurt. So calm down. And even if it did hurt, I'm pretty sure y'all be getting your eyebrows waxed and threaded, so y'all should be fine. You want to go in the same direction that your hairs are going in. Don't pluck that way. It's just going to be weird. Don't, yeah, just don't do that. All right, y'all, so that's basically it. You can honestly just comb them to make sure um they look nice. Uh, and you can, when you brush them, like, you can see little hair sticking up. You can cut those, but I'm going to just brush it down for now because I don't really care. I don't care about, like, having it lined up and stuff. I feel like they already look pretty good. So, yeah, that's it. Okay, y'all, so that's basically it. Honestly, at this point, you're done. Like, you're fine like this. You can just um, put your little makeup on, your eyebrow pencil, your eyebrow pomade. Yeah, so, yeah, you're good to go. Look like fresh out of the salon. Thank you all for watching this video. Make sure y'all subscribe. Make sure y'all like. Make sure y'all comment. And give me some more video ideas, anything you would like to see. And also, let me know if y'all tried this. And, like, just let, let me know how it goes. Like, how it went. Is your eyebrows on fleek or what? Like... <laughs>